what's going on YouTube I'm idle here I am showing you guys my slim XDK which I purchased on June 5th of last year 2019 I've recently dumped the data on February 23rd myself thanks to a YouTube method posted by a sweet guy named Riley 541 you guys should really go check him out I'll link to the video in the description below but more recently uh, beginning of uh, this month of April a nice individual approached me asking me about this XDK and the others that I do have. Um, I did mention to him that I was only able to dump this XDK right now because it's fairly easy and I don't have to do any disassembly. Um, to which he said to me that he really is interested in restoring my data and seeing if there's anything that he could find there that maybe I didn't find. So. Uh, I let him check out my HDD image, he scanned the data, and for, I'd say, if I found five files in a folder, per se, he would find seven. So, it was it was really nice getting a second look into the data that was on this XDK, but what he found was there were three builds of a media streaming app called Contoso. Now, I don't know what this app might have been or what have you but I can tell you that Contoso is a business or a, a company owned by Microsoft so you could look that up now um, again I don't know what they do what they specialize in or anything or what this you know how they tie into this app that was being developed on this XDK I, I have no idea anything about that um, it looks very heavily business oriented whatever that corporation or company is but anyways um, here I am just trying to show you guys that the data has been fully restored on this XDK and here is the build that runs and doesn't crash. It's really nothing much. It's just your standard run-of-the-mill web streaming app. If you watched Netflix back in the day on Xbox 360 then you've seen this interface before. It's really nothing special. But for data preservation's sake here I am showing you guys. Now this flash screen comes up for a while, screen goes white, and then black. When we get to the black screen, that's when we know the app is running. All right. And that's it. <laughs> um top bar over there would show you where you're at in your video whatever you were watching and the bar on the left and the HD icon on the right um, that would basically tell you how good your connection is and whether or not you were getting HD quality to the video you were watching so if your uh, quality dropped and you're trying to see what kind of quality you're getting you'd look at this info pane and see that your connection is either one or two bar and you're not getting HD quality um, if you don't know what this is, I highly recommend you watch a DVD on your Xbox 360 and press this button, and you'll see what that does. But anyways, that's really about it, guys. I don't want to take up most of your time, or any more of your time, I mean. Um, hit the like button. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this. I do plan to disassemble and dump the data on my other two XDK consoles sometime. Can't tell you when that might be but plan to do it sometime soon. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Well, after recording the first bit, I just realized I totally forgot to thank and mention the individual who helped restore the data here on this XDK. Uh, he goes by Mr. Pinball 64 on Discord, and if he lets me, I'll link his Twitter in the description as well. Um, what he also did was restore the file folders, which all of these uh, programs came in, um, if you could look above the launch and uh, tools and eject icons up there, you can see the path in which these files are located. He helped restore all of these. Check these out. Nice and suit. And organized. Uh, the ones inside of the sample uh, folder, those usually come with every XDK. It's nice to have them all restored and organized. Uh, thanks again to Mr. Pinball64.